Okay, Ty, uh, sorry for the delay in getting back to you, but um, basically I've been pretty busy in uh, finishing up watches and stuff before I could uh, go through my parts and also uh, get a hold of some parts and everything to try and um, see if you would be interested in doing this type of idea. So uh, basically the design that you sent me was based off of this dial here, which is a Seiko 5 um, sort of military style dial set for a four o'clock crown position meaning that the dial feet on the back are set up for a watch such as this with a four o'clock crown. So if you wanted to do a build, and I told you how I could improve upon it. So I could take a, this dial and use it as the base to build you a watch from the ground up not buying an existing Seiko, but build you one from the ground up using aftermarket and Seiko parts. So let's say this is the base here. And uh, I've picked out a handset that I think would look really good with this dial. Um, so that being said, let's see. We get these sort of pilot looking hands here. <clears throat> Excuse the noise in the background. My son's in the room playing Call of Duty. But let's say that, oops, these little buggers are hard to get on there. So let's say we go with a handset like that. And then you want obviously a touch of color in it. So we could do some orange because it seemed like you liked orange, but I think that fluorescent orange was just a little bit too much. You want something, obviously you're going for like a rugged military style look. So let's say we did a hand like that. Or I could do one with like a square tip instead of a round tip. I think the square tip probably looks better. Let's see. So let's say we did a square tip like that. And then let's give it some a little bit of a actually let's put the case over it so let's say we put the case on it so you got that look and then let's throw a chapter ring in there this chapter ring is silver so bezel on and then you could do the case like you could leave it polished or I could bead blast it so that it's got a satin gray finish to it much like what these markers on here look like the numbers and also the tick marks on the chapter ring and then we could put that all together with it like a flat crystal and have it look like that or if you wanted to really upgrade it, we could bead blast everything and have that all grayed out so it matches the chapter ring. And then we could bring in this type of mil spec bezel insert to match the dial. Or I could even do a all white if you didn't want a silver chapter ring. And we could leave it polished or I could still bead blast it. And I could do like a, uh, hold on. Give me a second here. I'm gonna open up this brand new, oops, open up this brand new Genuine Seiko chapter in here. I'm gonna put that in there. So let's see that 
we this is one of my cases by the way this is a 444 p.m case one of only a few that i have left i used to sell them i'm not selling them anymore because can't get resupply from china anymore it's not worth my time but um or money but uh anyhow it's a 444 p.m case so it would be one of my cases built using aftermarket parts and uh, genuine Sega parts. So now you've got all that. Um, and then I could do like a black day and date wheel. So it makes the dial have more black all the way across, which would look really cool. I actually think that would be the way to go um, as opposed to having white. Um, I might be able to show you what that looks like here. Hold on. So take that off, and then let me lift this off of here without messing up these hands. Set that to the side. Let's go ahead and put this down here. This is just like a little template thing that I use. So as you can see, let me put that black D and D wheel. Hold on, let me scoot this over. You put that black D and D wheel in there. It makes everything look much more uniform and and uh, just flows together better. And then we could finish that off with a domed sapphire crystal. So if I was to build this using, of course, a uh, Brand new, genuine Seiko, NH36 movement with hacking and hand winding. I would of course change out, you know, the day and day wheel so those are black, like that on there. Build the entire watch. It would have this movement, that dial, hands, day and day wheel, um, you know, gaskets, everything and stuff. Dome sapphire crystal. I would do like a clear AR on it, um, and that would just be the watch hit, and you could do it either polished. And I could build that for, let's see, could do that for, uh, 475 just for the watch hit. And if you want it be blasted, the whole thing finished, I could do it for, uh, 550 that includes shipping to you as long as you're in the United States and then that way you could pair it with um, a NATO strap Later on if you wanted a bracelet um, You could you know get a bracelet for it and then send it to me and I could be blast the bracelet um, for you know $50 and then ship it back to you or if you wanted I could order you a bracelet um, and bead blast it um, that would be an additional uh, hundred dollars added on to the cost. So if you wanted the watch head and uh, like an oyster style bracelet, stainless steel, bead blasted to match the finished or polished. So if you wanted to polish, then we would say let's do 625. If you wanted it bead blasted, we'll say uh, uh, 650. Okay. So anyway, um, those are the options. Uh, I like this design. I think this would work for you. Um, the reason I chose these hands is because the finish on the hands, the black portion matches the dial perfectly. 
Let me know what you think. Sorry it took me so long to get back to you, but like I said, been busy. Needed some time to be able to put everything together to show you and also get some jobs out of the way before I got to you. Thanks. Let me know.